how should I break a, a long fast safely? Okay, I've done a lot of videos on this and in Fast Like a Girl, I have a whole protocol. In Eat Like a Girl, full protocol, including recipes of breaking your fast. So know that that's available to you. But I'll tell you here that it, you, it, there is a step, a stepped process. The first is you always want to do broth first. I like bone broth because it has glycine in it and it really repairs the inner lining of the gut. But if you're a vegan, you can do and eat like a girl. I have a functional, a functional broth recipe in there that you can follow as well, as well. Not as strong as, as bone broth, but some kind of broth first is important. Okay. Second thing is then we want to bring something fermented in. So you can do a fermented yogurt. You can do, you can do kombucha if you want. You can do fer fermented kefir, something to bring some good sauerkraut. And you can mix that with like an avocado, something fatty, and bring bring in some of those. Find a way to get some of those fermented products into your gut so that you can repopulate your gut. Again, both books have a tremendous amount of information on this. Then the third, the third step is now you want to lightly steam vegetables. Some of us don't do great with a lot of fiber. So I want to steam it so we bring the fiber down a little bit and see how your body does. If you do well there, then the fourth step is you can bring in an animal meat if you want, and you can start to bring carbohydrates in. So that's kind of the the path, like like refined carbohydrates, not the toxic ones, but like sourdough bread and things like that. So you want to step it. You want to leave about a half an hour between each step. But this is how we avoid the boomerang effect, which is this thing where you where you where you boomerang back into your bad foods. We don't want that. So again, if you want more detail, check out the books.